the video on uh, some fruit that I've been getting given. Uh, that sounded like given. Um, yeah, so uh, my friend, uh, friends, uh, brew beer and faff around with things like I do. And uh, they've, uh, in the early summer, they bought lots of uh, berries. They bought some strawberries, they bought some uh, cherries, and they bought some uh, blueberries and they made uh, their own flavoured gin. It is now matured and they have bottled off the gin and strained out the fruit and they were left with the fruit and they decided that they would <laughs> give the fruit to me to see what I could do with it. And I kind of thought, uh, yeah, I'm sure I could do something with it. So I've got a couple of ideas. Um, and uh, yeah, so if we, if we taste it, I thought I'd just start putting it in a, in a, in a, in a fruit trifle. But it's a bit, the alcohol in the gym has kind of toughened the fruit up. So, I don't know if you can hear me too. There's a bit of a kind of like crunch to it. I don't know if, the strawberries are probably ripe when they went in. It's just the alcohol's kind of taken all the, um, taken all the moisture out of them and just kind of like firmed them. Them up, so I thought they're a bit too, a bit too crunchy for a trifle. So I thought we'll have a go at um, turning them into jam. So, 500 grams of the fruit and then 500 grams of sugar, and then we'll cook it, and we will see what happens. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. Um, there's not that much liquid left in it, so maybe 500 grams of sugar was probably a little bit too generous but we'll do a batch and we'll see what happens we can always add a little bit more fruit so we'll melt that melt that sugar and we'll kind of see what happens but it'll probably maybe it might want a bit more fruit and you know make a mess of the stove already after i've just cleaned it yeah there's going to be far too much sugar in that let's put let's put another 500 grams of fruit in there and then we'll kind of see what happens. So, there's just not that much liquid in this fruit. It's all gone into the gin, which will be absolutely delicious because there's some liquid in the bottom that was still left in the fruit. So, I've got a little bit of the mixed ginny. Uh, and the bottom, so I'm going to enjoy that. I'm going to have it with something. So maybe these strawberries. So that's another 500 grams. So another 500 grams in there, and then that might need up. But we'll see what happens. Might need to go on a lower temperature. Yeah, probably a lower temperature. Probably need a bigger pan. I need a bigger pan. I'm not ill prepared on purpose. I just What's the point in doing when you see the people and they're doing these perfect videos? And everything's perfect. And I just kinda of think how many times have you had to do that to get that perfect. That sounds a, a, a bit boring. I'd rather just have a go. Even more, even more fruit than that. Well, we'll see how that goes. So we'll cook that down and we'll see what happens. But slowly, because we don't want the sugar to, to caramelize, we just kind of see want to see what happens. And then I've got another idea about what I want to do with it as well. It almost tastes like a bit like, um, like dried fruit. Like you, when you're making a fruitcake, and you take your dried fruit and you steep it in something like, um, like tea or something like that, to kind of give it a bit more liquid to it, it tastes like, like that. So maybe we'll be able to do something with that, with that fruit, something along those lines. But it might work. We'll see what happens. It might be just like a compote that turns out like, but. I'm waffling and talking and we should just 
let it cook and see what happens and we'll be back when it's all started to melt together and hopefully it'll be enough liquid in there that it starts to become a bit jammy but anyway we'll find out we'll see interesting stuff eh so we have been cooking for 10 minutes and nothing is really breaking down so which would normally happen with fruit um, fresh or frozen um, it would start to break down a little bit we've got a little bit of color to the liquid which is basically just the sugar and some of the juice that's come out of it so <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it another 10 minutes of cooking and if it doesn't start to break down what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the blender in there because those strawberries are kind of quite quite hard so I think we're going to get the blender in there and they're not that nice looking if I'm honest it um, it kind of looks a little bit like um, when you make um, squid ink pasta so that black kind of squid ink uh, pasta which kind of looks quite uh, repulsive but is delicious or is it cuttlefish cuttlefish or squid ink pasta uh, which you know it doesn't look it doesn't look nice but one of the things that tastes nice so I just kind of think they're not, they don't look too nice so we'll give it another 10 minutes cooking I'll just show the juice let's get a spoon and we'll kind of look at the juice on a spoon so it's kind of taken a little bit of colour but I just think we need to give it a blend and kind of see what happens and see if it kind of maybe cooks down like that we, we might kind of have to go down the the compote type of route rather than the rather than the jam um, and with the alcohol it's it's smelling very Christmassy so my other thought about maybe using it instead uh, the fruits instead of um, like raisins or little tannins in a, in like a in a, a, a like a, a rich fruit sponge like a Christmas cake that type of uh, cake um, might kind of work very well I'm not sure the strawberries would work in it um, but the cherries and the blueberries would probably work kind of quite well so that's certainly something to think about but we'll give it another 10 minutes and if it's not cooking down we'll give it a blend and then we'll see what happens to it well this is never going to cook down <clears throat> in a million years so now we know if we ever want to keep some fruit whole we need to soak it in alcohol which is kind of what I was doing in another video about um, jelly uh, no not jelly jam uh, let me just add some whey and then we'll get the blender in and we'll see what happens uh, obviously we need to turn the blender off Let's have a look at that. Don't think it's going to go on that jam. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's quite sweet. As we're experimenting, let's throw in a packet of pectin. We have got some pectin somewhere. I know we have. 
Um, what have we got? We've got a park part packet effect in. So let's get that off before it starts spitting everywhere. And then just shake a bit of pectin in. We don't want it clumping up. So we'll just add a bit of time and then a bit more. And it's not going to be jam jam, I don't think. But it might do something. Might be able to use it in something. Should have put the pectin in before I pulped it. But we'll see. So, back on the heat, we'll give it five or ten minutes and we'll see what happens. Turn it up a bit. Right, it's had about ten minutes with the pectin in. To be honest, it's getting late and I can't be bothered doing anything else with it. Um, it might set up actually. It might set up the juice in that might just set up it needs i've tasted it and it's a little bit um sweet it needs a little bit of sharpness to it so i'm just going to put a that's a blunt knife my word i'm just going to put a little bit of lemon juice in it which might affect how it sets up jam wise overnight so i might just give it another so what I'll do, I will add this lemon juice and I'll give it just a little bit more of a cook. Just then I'll evaporate off the the, um, the liquid of the lemon juice, but we'll keep the uh, acidity of lemon juice. So, but you don't need to see that. But I will pretend that I'm showing you cooking it out, me cooking it out for another five minutes, just to get rid of that. Let's taste. Let's taste with a fork, shall we? So we've got it handy. I think I might just set up. I might just. Do you know, damn. I need to have a lemon, another half a lemon. So I need to put in another half a lemon. And then we'll cook it out for a little bit. Just to get rid of. We'll keep the. Well, like I said, we'll keep the acidity of the lemon if we cook it out five minutes, but we'll just get rid of that. That moisture of the lemon, which is not what we want. We didn't want those going in either. It's one of those things that if you can cook with food and just taste the food and think to yourself, ah, it just needs a little bit more salt. It just needs a little bit more pepper. It just needs to be a little bit more sweeter. It just needs a little bit of lemon. As soon as you can do things like that your food will get better and that's the only real difference between chefs and home cooks is that chefs know good chefs know how to season food and what food is lacking so a good chef will be able to taste a dish and kind of go oh it needs a bit more lemon in it it needs a bit more salt it needs a bit more sugar you know and meat needs cooking for a little bit longer you know, like lower and slower that type of thing so but anyway so we'll, i'll give that another five minutes off camera and then i'll see how it's set up is that, is that a bit of pectin i don't know what that is might be a bit of pectin i'll give it another five or ten minutes just to kind of cook off that liquid so we're back to what it was like before I added the lemon and then we'll let it go cold overnight and we'll see what it's like in the morning because it's late and it's Friday and I've just pulled myself a cocktail 
so I don't want to be cooking after I've had a cocktail. Not that it's dangerous cooking with cocktails, it's just that I've just had enough. I've been out for a walk, I've been swimming, I'm just a bit tired and ready to watch a film. Anyway, so we'll give that five or ten minutes and then I'll cool it down and we'll have a look tomorrow morning and see how it's set up. And there we go, we have made jam from the fruit left over from infused gin. It's gone very jammy. It tastes nice as well. I kind of say it's a bit like um like a fig jam because it's got the little seeds from the blueberries in it. Um and these seeds from the strawberries as well. That's alright, is that? That's alright. So that's not wasting anything at all, is it? Um look at that. That's a good quality. That's good jam, is that? That's good jam. I will um I didn't jar it up. I should have jarred it up really, but I got a bit lazy. What I'll do is I'll make some more jam uh, using the same method. And then I will add, when the jam's hot and ready, I'll add that jam to it. Heat all the jam through. Um, and then jar it that way. Um, but I don't, it doesn't, if I was going to eat it now, uh, it, rotten, it, doesn't, it won't need particularly jarring. It'd be, it'd be fine in the fridge. Uh, but I'm going to jar it and then I'm going to use it uh, in something else. Actually as well, it tastes a little bit like um, like the mincemeat that you use to make um, mince pies. I don't know why, I don't know why, but um, yeah it tastes a little bit like, like the mincemeat in a, in a in a mince pie. Uh, yeah, that's kind of quite strange. That's kind of quite interesting. That's kind of quite interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Um. Yeah. So, I, if you if you if you are one of those people who infuses gin with fruit and gives the fruit away. Uh, it gives the gin away as gifts or drinks the gin yourself uh, and you have faff around with things uh, don't waste the fruit because you can turn it into something else um, yeah uh, it, yeah yeah it's zero waste at its best you know like you would have thought that the that the fruit was completely useless after after you'd uh, you'd used it to infuse infuse into the gin but that just goes to show you can use it you don't have to you can still throw it you could throw it away if you like but you can do something with it, and I think there's there's more. I'm gonna have a go at something else as well, uh, sometime later in the week. But there you go. You can, yeah, zero waste. It's best, eh?